Hello everyone, this is Andrew, and today I will be showing you guys how to make the camera shake effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's get right into it. If you want to use my footage that I'm using in this tutorial, the link will be in the description below, the download link, and I also created a preset that's on my website, which will also be in the description below where you can download it. So, what we want to do is go to where you want the camera shake to start. So I'm just going to go to about 2 minutes. I'm just going to type it in, so it's easier. And I'm going to put a marker right there. And for my footage, you can just delete the sound of, or the sound, the audio. Because we will not need that. And now you want to create a marker where you want it to the camera shake to end. So I'm just gonna go to about three minutes and around eight seconds maybe. Three minutes and eight seconds. And I'm gonna put a marker there. And in the next marker, you want it to be where the footage zooms out. So I'm just gonna go to about like five seconds in. So maybe like three minutes and thirteen seconds. And I'm just going to put a marker there as well. And now we can just zoom in. So we can see the markers clearly. And click on your footage. And now you can just go back to here and right click. And go to the next marker so it goes perfectly on. And now in order for us to move the footage around. Like left and right and up and down. We want to zoom in. So scale. And go to about 120. That's where I will be going. You can go higher if you want the footage to be more pixelated. But if you have like a 4K footage, it will not be that pixelated. So I'm just going to go to 120 because that's the best one I tried it out. So I'm just going to... Let's time keyframe. And by the way, if you do not know what keyframing is... You might want to go watch other videos because there's a lot of videos on this so yeah make sure you go check those out I, if you guys want me to create one i can but comment down below if you want me to so i'm just gonna keyframe position and scale all right so now that we have changed the 120 the scale uh p scale keyframe now right click on the scale keyframe on the first one because we only have created one and right click and go to hold all right and now using a right arrow key on your keyboard just move right once and if you want to you can zoom in and now you just want to move the position do not move anything else just the position and you just want to move it right or left it doesn't matter then move once again to the right and you can move up and down move again and you can move it back to the left and you just keep on repeating this Alright, so once you reach the marker, the second marker, let me just go back. Alright, once you reach the second marker, you want to zoom in on that one. And now, we want to also scale the, uh, the scale keyframe. So click right here, and you'll see it pop up. I'll do it again. So just go to the last marker, and click this one. Alright, so right now, what I have created, and what you should have created as well, is basically this effect. The shake effect right here. And now you can go to the last marker, just right click, and go to next marker. And now we want to reset it. So, let's just reset the reset parameters, and just reset both. So now, what happens is this. So it plays, it plays, and it shakes, and I get to here, and it should reset. That's what should happen. 
If I did this correct, that is what should happen. So if you do it, if you just play it, shake, and it resets. And that's it. That's all you have to do for the camera shake effect. There's so many tutorials on this, and a lot of them, they don't really teach you the right way to do it. This is basically how you do it. And you want to use a camera shake effect the correct way. If it's most of the time, I would say you use a camera shake, uh, shake effect in like sports, sports edits or anything like that. Those usually look the coolest and that's where I would use them. So that's basically it. And all right, to import the preset into Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to go download the preset in the description below. The download link will be in the description below. So make sure you go download that. And then you will just want to go into Premiere Pro, Effects, and Presets, and Import Presets. And once you click on that, just go to where you downloaded the preset from the description. Click and open. And now just open up the preset folder. And it should be in the preset folder. If it's not, I don't know what you did. So if you follow those steps, then it should be in here. And all you have to do is import it in. And it'll end up right here around here. And here's a tip. If you do not want the effect to be like right there, you can click on the footage like this and then highlight all of them. Or you can just right click and select all and just move it to where you want it. If you want it right here, it'll shake right there. And if you want it farther back, it'll shake right there. That's all it is. All right, so if you follow those steps, you should be able to import the presets into Adobe Premiere Pro. So yeah, if you dig my style, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you, make sure you subscribe for more future content and future tutorials. Thank you for watching.